Hi bug buddies. So there are all kinds of animals in the world that spit. Triggerfish, llamas, cobras, but I've got something special tonight. Tonight we're going to look at the Parabuthus transvalicus, also known as the Transval thick-tailed scorpion. Um, this is a spitting scorpion and it's very dangerous. So. Um, I am going to put on some glasses to protect my eyes because um, they're really dangerous and I like my eyes. So anyway, we've got a big female and um, I'm going to really try not to disturb her but we are going to take a peek. She's nice and fat and I'm hoping she's gravid. So first thing I need to do is look and see where she is. don't ever want this with these guys. So I really can't see her. So my best guess is that she's in her little hide. So I'm just going to yes and there she is. So removing the lid and I'm just going to quietly and carefully lift her little hide so you can get a nice look at that little beauty. Now you can see how nice and big and fat and swollen she is. And um, so just to let you guys know a little bit about these animals. Um, this is a venomous scorpion from the dry parts of southern Africa. They are found in uh, deserts and scrublands. So this is one of our younger ones. This is the substrate that we have them on. It's like a uh, bark. And again, I need to look and see where it is. Pretty sure I see it. And uh, you can see that it is somewhat hidden by the substrate, which is what they like. These guys live, uh, they hide under, they live in shallow burrows, like underneath rocks and logs and stuff like that. And the, other than this being um, a, um, you know, one of the most toxic scorpions, which makes it, so this little one just shed, so um, you'll notice that this one's a little bit lighter than the one I'm going to show you next. I have one in just a clear container, so you can see it uh, clearly. And so what these animals do is they basically lie in wait, and um, as you saw, they do grow pretty large. Um, let's see, what can I tell you? They live in sandy areas, under rocks, logs, debris, stuff like that. Um, and, um, just that they're really great predators. The other neat thing about them, like all scorpions, they fluoresce under a black light. So I've got a black light here, and I'm going to show you. You can see what it looks like. And now, under the black light, you can see that it glows. So this is the way it normally looks. Black light. So you can imagine in a dark room how amazing uh, this scorpion would look. So it would actually be really cool to keep any type of scorpion um, and have it, you know, black lights that you can turn it on when you want them on display. So, like I said, I hope that our female is gravid. These are a super neat scorpion. I think they're amazing. Um, obviously not a be bug for beginners, but um, definitely a super cool one. Uh, they're pretty hardy, but like I said, they can be extremely dangerous. So anyway, this is one of my special little bugs that I wanted to show you guys tonight, and I hope you liked it. I had a request for a scorpion vid, so shout out to my guy that requested that. Hope you liked it, and I'll see all of you next time.